Okay, my friends, as you will see, he's asking what is smaller than a quark. I can easily show you, and we have photoed them, and we can do recreate them at will. Now, this is Don Lincoln. He's from the um, Fermi Labs, and I would hope to hear from him. And here it is, Roger, R-O-G-E-R, at mudfossils, with an S, dot com. All right, sir, I have the evidence. Okay, my friends, it's Roger once again. Fermi Labs is asking if there's something smaller than a quark, and I say absolutely. And that is it right there is, well, actually, this is bigger than a quark. However, at the Venturi, it separates, and what, here's what happens. That is light from a red pulsed laser. So, it's only light. We're starting with the smallest particles there are, light, photons. And then they actually separate into electrons and then into muons and electron neutrinos. Now, here's what happens. This is the nucleus of every atom. So hydrogen has 1,837 electrons because electrons are the only thing that exists. That's the core of a hydrogen. And then it influences one certain zone around it, which relates to one electron, is basically what they say. Now, then you go up from there into, hydrogen has more than one proton in the nucleus sometimes. Hydrogen 2, hydrogen 3. Now, it appears that the protons at 1837 electrons, when they get into that mass, the Schumann frequency that's vibrating seems to lock it in at a hydrogen atom. Now, it'll go a little isotope this way, an isotope that way, stable this, stable that, unstable this, unstable that, because there's a bazillion different electrons in between they never took into account. And the only way that any of the chemistry can work, I've determined, is that you have to have all these particles. It's just there's no way one big proton in the center of a hydrogen does all the things it does. It's absolutely silly. Now, this is light. This is light. It's light. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at particles. Now, let's see what they actually look like. Where do you see what they're looking like? So this is the pulse red laser. We're seeing the particle. We're seeing accelerate. So Einstein's done right there. We're seeing it separate from the weak and the strong force. And here's what I'm saying is happening. Every electron, and there's 1,837 of them in a hydrogen, we're looking at just two or four of them together. All right, That's what these particles look exactly like this. And I show these two over and over and over, just like that. And when they hit the venturi, they separate. Now, so let's, don't forget, we're at the smallest particles that exist. Now, here's what happens when it hits the venturi. See, remember the black particle that was, t uh, well, maybe you didn't see that. I'll show you that. Well, let me show it to you now. There's a black particle attached just like this. It's right here, and it hits there, and it explodes. The black ones are just pushed out of the way because they're the dark matter. They don't do anything. They don't absorb. They don't emit. They don't reflect. They don't concuss. They just get out of the way. Now, don't forget what you're just seeing here. And now all the black ones come back in down here. And they do not bother each other. They stay right in with each other. They can mingle each other and don't hurt each other. Now, let me show you something else. All right, remember I told you about the particles? There they are right there. You see the black and the white? Those are nothing more than electrons side to side, one this way and one that way, which makes them basically neutral, so when they bang into you, they bounce off. When they're in their electron configuration, they will kill you. They will invade you because they want to attach to something. Now, this is right here, is right here. All right, the particles are stacking up on themselves. They're coming through, you really can't see much of the, you know, structure. And then they stack up on themselves, and then they hit the venturi. So here we are right here, and bada boom. That's when they hit the venturi, the black and the white separate, which I believe I did show you. But I will show it again, just to be sure that you understand exactly what I'm saying. This was the box of them. All right. And then the blacks can't stay with the white anymore. The white gets sucked through the venturi, causing all kinds of havoc. And the black ones just roll away, out of the way. And the only reason we see them is because of the illumination from behind. They just sort of 
block out stuff. They don't absorb, they don't attract, they don't do anything. I mean, it's just in the way. It's like a nothing particle, but it has to be there. And we saw it attached to the to the um, strong force, the white ball, which is, it, so there's not a big thing to question here. Well, the thing to question is why isn't it being taken into consideration? Because if this is the reality of the smallest bits of particles, which it is, we started with light. So we started with the smallest parts. CERN and the rest of them starting with big gigantic photon um, uh, nucleuses. And then they're digging through all the little bits and pieces. And they're finding some strange looking things and oh, it's got to be one of these, got to be one of those. Well, I'm showing exactly what it is, and we can absolutely 100%, no question whatsoever, separate that black particle, which has to be the weak force, from the white particle, which has to be the strong force, and then they come back together here. There's no question whatsoever.